Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video today I'm going to be showcasing the Better Vampires mod. In this screenshot here you can see um, the Better Vampires mod by Brennan. All credit goes to him for this mod. And in this screenshot for the um, perks expanded, this basically just gives you more perks for your Vampire Lord perk tree. And all credit goes to Jason for providing the expansion pack for the Vampire perks. So let's get into the video. Alright, so following the Dawnguard quest line, you want to progress all the way up until the point of where you have to speak to Harkon. And the quest you can see is Bloodline. That is the quest where you get the vampire gift from Harkon. And you just want to proceed through the dialogue until Harkon gives you the opportunity to take the gift of vampirism. And another thing to note, it is recommended that you actually become a vampire through this storyline before you actually activate the mods that I'm going to go through later. So this is kind of like a tutorial on how to set up the Better Vampires mod, rather than um, what it actually does in combat. I suppose I can make another video about that in the future, but for now I'm just going to do a tutorial. Traitor mother were here. Be still. And here is the tool that you can use to customize your vampire with the uh, Better Vampires mod and this is like the menu for it you can reset your va your vampire, reset your vampirism, you can blank your vampire for like whenever there's a mod update that comes out and you have to update the mod you can there's a tutorial on the mod description on how to reset your vampire carefully and in a certain way to where you won't lose your perks or corrupt your save so that's pretty important. And here it just goes on into the menu, like the perk selections that you can choose from. Um, dynamic stages allows you to advance a stage of vampirism every 24 hours that you do not feed. It's just a bunch of questions, really. Like if you follow through, you can just pick whichever playstyle you want to play as. You can play as like a vampire who is like hardcore, weak to the sun, and you'll have to constantly feed. Um, you could, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can pick and choose from in here. It's very um, in depth, and it's quite easy to follow. I'm just giving you guys a tutorial on how to access this stuff and where to find it. This is located under your powers menu and I'm just going to fast forward the selections that I made and the choices that I made and how I geared my vampire. I personally geared my vampire to um, hardcore mode where you're weak to the sun and I have to feed um, pretty often. Um, I don't take damage from the sun when fully fed so I guess um, for my character build I'm the strongest once I'm fully fed. So I'm just going to fast forward this. And I'm about to wrap this up for the customization tool. Uh, for weapon speed I just chose the same so it would be a no. And sidestep, the mod author says that there's been issues with sidestep so um, I chose no, and movement speed, I believe I chose yes, and that finishes the end of it. And here's a look at some of the new spells that you get with this mod. Uh, Blood Ward, Call Creature, Detect Light, and Shadow, Domination, Frost Cloud, um, a mask that you can use to look mortal, better enhanced vision, you get a whole bunch of cool new spells and powers and abilities. 
Continuing down the list, there's even more spells and abilities like Mind Blast, Vampiric Drain. I was actually looking for something that I was trying to find, but I couldn't find it, so... I was looking for the spell to add Vampire Lord perks to unlock the perk tree in a kind of a cheat way. Right so I was like, hmm, what do I do here? Then I figured it out. I had to actually go into Powers, Vampire Lord form, and go on from here to access the cheat spell to add Vampire Lord perk points. And here's the um, perk point adder. What you want to do, you want to get into Vampire Lord form and select the spell. It should be available no matter how many um, perks you have into the Vampire Lord perk tree. Just keep on casting it. It might say only you only get one perk like every time you cast it. Like, like every time it says a perk's available, but that's not the case. As you can see here, I got eight perks already. It's so like every single time you cast it is when you get one. The um, perk available message really doesn't mean anything at all. And I'm just going to fast forward this part. And once you get a decent amount of perks, like maybe 30 or 40, that'll be good enough. And we'll continue on in this guide or tutorial. Once I'm done casting all of these, I believe when I finish it, I have like 35 perk points, which is quite a lot, really. And the um, the add perk spell was actually a new feature, like I believe that just came out. So it's like a huge benefit because I had to like install another mod to level up my vampire, like to spawn enemies. So that's a great benefit to the update is this spell. I know this is getting to be a long video, so I'm going to go ahead and get to the point. And here we go into the new expanded perk tree of the Vampire Lord. Um, here you can see all the perks. Uh, feel free to pause the video on a specific perk. I really go through it pretty quick just to level up my vampire here. I do apologize for going so quick. But on a few of them I do believe I kind of paused for a second. I'm avoiding the dark armor um, to the left of Poison Talons because that'll like give my armor rating a huge buff. So I don't really want that. I don't want to be overpowered, so I kind of ignore that one. Um, every other perk I do select here, though. Um, the only perks I don't select is the category to the left, immediately to the left of um, Blood Plague. I think it's called like. Mortal Mask or something. It goes Dark Armor. There's two perks for Dark Armor. And then it goes up into like some kind of um, other spell or ability where it's like, I think it's like Master Vampire? I don't know. We'll get to look at it when I finish doing this. Like, this is like a live commentary kind of a thing that I'm doing right now. So, that's why. I can't really like stop and point at certain things, but here we go. Dark Armor and Master Vampire. Those are the um, three perks I avoid. Three perk points I don't put in. So I actually balanced it out perfectly. Like I had three perk points left and those were the final three perks, so that finished that off pretty good. Alright guys, this concludes the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and you guys have a wonderful day.